everyone today we are going to start our first chapter that is the cell yes as you have already studied about the cell in your previous classes let's recall the definition of cell cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of life to clarify the definition of cell let's take the example of a wall while constructing a wall number of bricks are combining together then it's clear we can say that a single brick is the smallest unit of that wall isn't it okay now similarly while constructing the human body a number of cells are combining together it means we can say that cell is the smallest unit of living organism living body now why we are including the term structural and functional in the definition of cell structural as a number of cells are combining to provide the structure to the body and of course they are performing different type of functions that's why cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of life clear now in this chapter we will study about discovery of cell cells shape and size number of cells about microscope basic structure of cell cell organelles prokaryotes and eukaryotes plant cell and animal cell organization in the living world students no need to get panic as number of terms are new for you all that is prokaryotes eukaryotes maybe or maybe not maybe clear after the completion of this chapter you all will be able to answer all these questions no need to panic okay now move forward let's start with the discovery of cell word cell comes from the latin word cellula which means the small room robert hooke was the scientist who discovered the cell for the first time now the question is uh, okay one more thing latin 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 is the language which was used in the ancient time and cellula is the word of that language which means the small room clear now why robot who called it as cell that is a small room why he called it as he saw the slice of cork under the microscope which appear as a group of cell, small compartments these compartments were arranged as honeycomb like a structure see this structure is looking like a honeycomb he observed the slice of such type of cork and he saw he observed such type of structure and he considered a single single spot as a small compartment and he called it as cell clear now one more thing which is clear with the study of this topic is that ki robot hook study robot hook discovered the first dead cell he observed the cell in the dead particle it means someone else discovered the living cell yes that is anton van leeuwenhoek who discovered the first living cell in spirogyra spirogyra is an algae clear cells are of different shapes yes not all cells are of same shape they can be round spindle shaped elongated or even irregular shaped like amoeba see you all know very well that amoeba is not having any particular shape see due to the formation of pseudopodias projections see these are the pseudopodias due to the formation of pseudopodia amoeba is not having any fixed shape different type of shapes are there see few more shapes are there see cocus spherical shape bacillus rod shaped these are the guard cells guard cells you have studied in the in the structure of leaves stomata are having guard cells remember okay student it means we can say that cells vary in their shapes now size of the cell most of the cells are small and cannot be seen by naked eyes 
द स्मॉलेस्ट सेल इज अ बैक्टीरियम इज अ बैक्टीरिया ऑफ पॉइंट वन टू पॉइंट फाइव माइक्रोमीटर जस्ट इमेजिन द साइज ऑफ दिस स्मॉल बैक्टीरिया माइक्रोमीटर यस माइक्रोमीटर मीन्स टेन रेस्ट टू दी पावर माइनस सिक्स जस्ट इमेजिन हाउ स्मॉल इट इज एंड द लार्जेस्ट सेल यू हैव ऑलरेडी ऑब्जर्व द एग्स एग ऑफ हेन पिजियंस डिफरेंट बर्ड्स दैट कैन बी ऑब्जर्व थ्रू नेकेड आइज इट मीन्स द साइज ऑफ सच टाइप ऑफ सेल इज लार्ज इनफ इट मीन द लार्जेस्ट सेल विच इज ऑब्जर्व टिल नाउ इज द एग ऑफ एन ऑस्ट्रिच एग ऑफ एन ऑस्ट्रिच इट इज द लार्जेस्ट सेल क्लियर एज द नम एज द शेप एंड साइज ऑफ द सेल्स वेरी Similarly, number of cells in different organisms also vary. On the basis of number of cells, organisms are classified into two categories. That is, unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. Living body is made up of one type of one cell only. Then it is unicellular, and if it is constructed, it is made up of more than one type of more than one cell. is known as multicellular organisms clear small organisms have few cells or we can say one cell one cell any example of one cell yes that is amoeba unicellular organism it's made up of one cell all the functions performed by a living organism amoeba is performing all that functions through one cell only yes some small organisms have few cells while large organisms have millions and billions of cells such organisms are having complicated structure complicated structure number of cells do not affect the functioning of an organism like amoeba amoeba can perform all the function with single cell while human body we we all are performing different type of functions with the help of millions and billions of cells clear now there are few questions which are based on the topic which we have discussed today that is short question number 1 and 3 in your book short question number 1 write a short note on the discovery of cell by robert hooke write down the answer of this question in your notebook as class work yes start writing write note down the question first yes so start writing the answer now robert hooke was an english scientist discovered the cell in 1665 he observed he observed the cell for the first time in a thin slice of cork in a thin slice of cork under the microscope which appeared like honeycomb like structure which appeared as honeycomb like structure he called each compartment as cell he called each compartment as cell he observe he observed the dead cell for the first time he observed the dead cell for the first time clear now the next question why cell is called as the basic structural unit of life why cell is called as the basic structural unit of life note down the question everyone as i have already explained the answer of these questions start writing the answer now our body is made up of 
our body is made up of number of cells first point second point number of cells are combining together number of cells are combining together to form number of cells are combining together to form tissues number of third point number of tissues number of tissues are combining together to form organ to form organ now last point number of organs are combining together to form organ system number of organs are combining together to form organ system these organ system are involved in performing these organ system are involved in performing different functions that's why cell is the basic structural unit of life that's why cell is the basic structural unit of life clear now few in text questions who discovered the cell who discovered the cell yes robert hooke was the scientist who discovered the cell for the first time clear now who discovered the living cell Anton van Leeuwenhoek observed the first living cell. Now the example of largest cell. Example of largest cell. Example of largest cell is ostrich egg. Largest word indicate the size of the cell, okay? If the the question is the longest cell then the answer is the nerve cell clear now the example of a smallest cell again according to the size of the cell okay bacterium is the answer bacterium okay clear now i hope you all understand the topic as it is a small enough for today because today we have started already started but for the first time okay students now concentrate on your class work and and your homework tomorrow we will continue with the study of microscope task for you all is draw the different shape of the cell in the homework part and yes the last and the most important thing start working in set a in one set okay clear everyone okay thank you everyone